<laughs> yo 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 what's up you guys welcome back to another video and uh today we got a transformation um we got a transformation on our hands um a few of my homies tapped in they're like man can we come get a cut um and so i i let them come through and they ended up bringing an extra person uh, he also wanted to cut so I, I told him i got him man uh so we ended up it was supposed to be like two and then uh you know another one hopped in in the cut too and it turns out the one that wasn't originally going to get a cut, you know, ended up being, I felt like, the best transformation for this video. So we ended up having a, I asked him permission, I was like, can I record this? And we made a YouTube video out of it. As you guys can see, in a little bit, the, his hair was looking crazy, man. We had to clean him up. We had to really transform my guy and got, got him looking right. I'm not going to talk too much of you guys' head off. Uh, I'm going to let, you know, the video speak for itself. Hope you guys enjoy this video. And um, let me know what you guys want to see more, man. And if you can, smack that like button, man. It's going to really, really help me. Um, it's going to help me get my views up. And it's going to help, you know, just YouTube understand the type of content that I create. But um, appreciate every single one of you guys, especially for clicking on this video right here. All right, you guys, as you can tell, this is the before. He was looking crazy, like I mentioned earlier. And uh, to start this tutorial off, we uh, we came in with the with the spray bottle. We're just saturating the hair, making sure it's nice and wet. Um, the more wet it is, the more saturated it is, the more control we're gonna have when we're doing our shear work. And so we're making sure it's all nice nice and wet. And then uh, you guys are gonna see right here, I'm asking him how much he wants me to get taken off the top. And uh, we'll take the desired length off and we'll do that all around the head. Notice that I uh, that I started at the apex at the beginning, and the apex is the the highest point of the head, which is toward like the like the back um, on the top. And the reason I started there is because um, and went forward was because you're gonna keep the natural curve of the head. If you start toward the front, um, you're going when you go back, it's gonna be like unproportional, and it's it's gonna be like you have overlap um, within your guidelines. Um, you can do it either way um but if you're starting just kind of like me um it's, it's easier to start at the apex and any of you guys that are um just starting to use shears and trying to get the hang of them um one thing i would recommend um is really really concentrate on only moving your thumb once you kind of get that down you're going to kind of get the fundamentals on how to really use your shears you're not supposed to use nothing else but your thumb as a moving guide to cut and uh i went to go get my blow dryer because the hair was still wet and I wanted to uh, just to dry it, just because um, it's not really good to, to run your clippers through wet hair. And because of that, uh, I went and got my blow dryer and kind of dried the hair. Um, that way we can start our clipper work on the bottom. So we went in and we parted the hair everywhere where we wanted to work underneath to kind of flow into it. And then later on, we'll go in with our shear work and connect the top to the Parado Ridge area. But for now, we're gonna grab our guard and we're gonna uh, create this like boxy shape and we're gonna go straight up off the head. So this right here is my three guard and we're just going up straight up off the head. Notice that we're not digging into the scalp and creating that three, actually three guard length. Um, we're gonna go up and we're gonna just go straight up off. That way we create this shape and that we don't create um, the actual three guard on the side. We want it to look boxy and not like roundish. We're 
doing this all around the head making sure that we create a consistent shape all around the head and once we do that we're going to go in with our lower guards and start to fade downwards and then we'll start the taper on And you can already see that shape starting to come together and that three guard length is being established all around therefore when i go in later i'm like okay cool uh this is the three guard now i know what i'm fading into that's one of the most important things about this step is making sure that you know where your three guard is there therefore when you fade into it you don't push it higher we went in with that two guard right underneath that three and now we're going in with this one open and setting in the skyline And he wanted a mid taper so we're setting in our, our first guideline the bald line and um, we're gonna put it in because uh, we're gonna keep this C cup dark nice and dark and you'll see it right now we went in with that lever open and keep in mind not to have these guidelines too too condensed you want to stretch them out a little bit you 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 want enough space to be able to create that gradients and that blend um, the more spaced out it is the the better you your transition is going to be and at, at the beginning of my uh, career um, when I first started cutting hair um, that's one thing that I had trouble with I was too scared to push those guidelines up and um, the more I, I got comfortable the more I was able to really stretch them and now they're stretched really about like an inch um, so I would really stress that for any of you guys any new barbers And in a part of this video, I was in the way like a lot of the time. So this side, you're not going to be able to see too much, which kind of sucks. You know, I was trying hard, you know, to make sure that the camera um, was in an angle so you guys could see. But so we already went in with that lever open and we started to fade it out already. And here we are going with our one open and um, we're starting to get the blend in. And once we do this, we're going to go in with that one closed and start to flick it out that middle line with the, uh, the zero guard closed. And um, a big pointer that really helped me was the fade really um, is in between the bald line and that lever, the one open. And that's that's pretty much where the fade takes place. But you do want to gauge it depending on the client like this client i i knew he had thin hair therefore um i i, I kind of knew that the two would still be a little light so i played that safe all right that was the three guard and now we slapped on the two and we're gonna go open and then close and then we're gonna tie it after this we're gonna tie it all in with that one and a half guard As you guys can see, this fade is really starting to come together, man. All right, here we are starting our bald line in the back. And I personally, I like this like arc shape. Um, I think it really, really pops, but you don't want to do it on everybody. Um, you kind of want to do it on people who have like longer necks. Right, here we go we're gonna set in our op our lever open line and this is gonna be our first guideline and after this we're gonna go in with that one open and like I mentioned earlier you kind of want to stretch these out man the more stretched it is the more gradients your blend is gonna be but you don't want to stretch it too much but it does want to be like around an inch depending on your clients head right after you set in that guideline with that one open then you're going to want to go right underneath that with that one closed 
and it should be pretty much faded into uh, that lever open there might be a slight line and if there is you just go in with that zero guard close and flick that out and you should be good to go and here i am fading that initial guideline that i put in with that lever open and i just i like to go a little bit closed as i go down until eventually i'm at all the way closed and i'm at the way bottom of that guideline Now we got that half guard closed i believe we went in halfway first just to test the waters because this is the first time i ever cut them um but i believe we ended up needing it completely closed so um, we went closed and we're just flicking out that middle line from the lever open to that one and we slapped that two guard on there um i knew that this was gonna put it uh like connect it all together because earlier we went in with that three guard and connected it um from all around if you guys remember and yeah after this we're just gonna go in that one and a half and the taper in the back should be good we're just gonna detail a little bit later Look at that man the table starting to really come to life and this this neckline is gonna really really pop on them and i was still seeing this line that i said with that lever the one open and um the one one and a half close wasn't taking it out so i had i was flicking with that one open and sometimes you have to do that man sometimes if it's not coming out with that next guard you need to jump back down to what you created the line with and just flick at it So we just took out all the duck clips and we're combing all the hair down as you guys can see there's a really uh bad connect uh, disconnection um but that we're going to connect it all with some shear work we're going to take it in vertical sections and just connect it to the top And as you guys can see, um, the hair is starting to flow real nice into, you know, the back. It, it doesn't look disconnected anymore, um, but there's still some more work that we need to do. and now i'm uh, fading in the beard i'm kind of surprised i i uh did this late but um yeah you know fading in the beard is is simple it's the exact same thing as fading in the top except in opposite direction you know you're, you're fading like upwards almost uh
okay now we're gonna start up the lining process um his beard isn't really full so we're gonna line it up to the best that we can um and make these nice sharp lines and we're gonna line up everywhere you know uh the neckline the the he didn't want to the line up in the front so we're just gonna give him a c cup and um just line everything up clean it up make it look nice and sharp here we are putting on some shave gel on them and uh, we're gonna go ahead and use the razor and make sure this uh, line is nice and sharp and it's just gonna add longevity to the cut make the haircut last a couple more extra days and um, all this is extra low service and when you guys are using the razor make sure to pull um, the skin and stretch out the skin This is the before. I'm gonna let you guys check out all the angles. And this is the after. I hope you guys enjoyed this cut, man. Go ahead and comment down below what you guys think. All right, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that haircut, man. Uh, honestly, it was super satisfying like afterwards, especially now that I'm done, um, you know, getting to see the before and after. It's just like, it's, it's just dope to see, man. And uh, any of you guys that are like, you know, practicing and practicing, um, you guys might be scared of these type of heads. They're really no different. You know, they're really no different. They just have ex excess hair. It's super simple. Um, and honestly, these are the most fulfilling haircuts for me because, you know, I get to see my guy coming in looking scruffy, all crazy, right? And I, I, I turn him around uh, when he leaves, man. He's looking all good, fresh and everything like that. And those are like, those are like the most fulfilling cuts for me. You know, just watching him, you know, transform, you know. It, it's just, it, it's, it's real cool to see, man. But um, yeah, man, I hope you guys enjoy that video. Um, we're going to do more and more content. Y'all know what it is. We ain't stopping anytime soon, man. And uh, I do hope you guys enjoy that haircut and the video. Um, like I said before, any suggestions that you guys might have, drop them down in the comment section down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. That's really going to help me out. And I do appreciate every single one of you guys that have. Um, but yeah, man, that's it for this video. Um, psh, I hope you guys have a great rest of your guys' day. It's Tubling, and I'm going to catch you guys on the next one. Mm -hmm.